Oh, okay, here we go. <clears throat> Got a little froggy in my throat, a little ribbit monster. Let me hydrate real quick. Okay, in this video, I'm gonna talk about um, how you should think about progressing your training over time to give yourself the best chance of making as many gains and continuously making gains, continuously making progress, avoiding plateaus. So what are we talking about here? What's really common um, in the workout space, we're just talking about trying to build muscle. People that are chasing the gains happens normally is that you, and I've done this myself, speaking from experience and training people, seeing them do it, just being around the freaking fitness gym world for over a decade. This is a very, very common trend and I, I'm gonna share with you a way to think about it and approach it differently so that you can get more out of your sessions and hopefully make more gains continuously. It takes a per perspective shift is really what you need. So let's start with where we're at, where most people are at, where you're probably at. If you clicked on this video, you've hit a plateau, most likely at some point, maybe you're in one right now, you probably are. <clears throat> where, and the reason is you start out, you pick a split, you pick out uh, how you're gonna train, you maybe do a little education, you ask your friends, you watch YouTube videos, whatever, you're like, how the fuck do I work out? Okay, here's some, you did some type of research or effort to figure out roughly what to do. You shouldn't walk into the gym completely clueless. Uh, asking questions here and there and you have a rough gauge. Maybe you did tons of research, maybe you did a little bit, whatever. And you figure out, I'm gonna follow some kind of workout routine, some kind of split, maybe you bought a program, maybe you kind of just figured something out on your own. A good example would be like push-pull legs. Okay, so you're doing your, all your push muscles, your pressing movements one day, the next day you're doing all your pulling movements in your upper body, and then the next day you're doing legs. And maybe you're resting one day in between each of those, whatever, there's a million different ways to structure your split. Maybe you're splitting it up differently, you do upper body, lower body, maybe you do chest and back, shoulders and arms, and then legs, or who knows, there's a zillion different ways to do it. But the point is, what's common is to pick a certain kind of split, a certain kind of routine, and stay there, and stagnate, and go, this is how I'm gonna train. And within this, I'm gonna put in the hours, I'm gonna train intensely, and the weights are gonna continuously progress, and I'm gonna make gains. As long as I stay dedicated, follow my nutrition, rest, I'm gonna continuously see progress. That is not your best bet of continuing to see progress, okay? What you need to do is shift your mentality so that you start somewhere, and then to for your body to continuously um, add more muscle, you need to continuously change the way your program is structured. So in the beginning, our example we're talking about, you pick whatever split, let's just say push-pull push, push pull legs, you're doing X amount of volume per week with X amount of weight, um, you're having X amount of rest days, and whatever that stimulus is, whatever your workout routine looks like, your body, if you stick with it and you're consistent, you're gonna make progress, but your body is gonna to adapt to that stimulus, that load. Think about it that way. I'm putting this stress on my body on a weekly, on a monthly basis, and it's responding by adding more muscle to deal with the, the um, new demand that you're putting on it. But what's gonna happen if you keep that demand the same over six months, over a year, over two years? You're gonna stay where your body initially adapted to, which is a really common thing. If you look at people that go to the gym that are in good shape and have built some muscle, usually they look that way for the next five, 10 years, potentially the rest of their life. <laughs> So they are, if the people that are consistent enough to build up a decent amount of muscle and have a somewhat notable or, or uh, impressive physique, usually don't con continuously progress it. And it's because of this perspective. And so what you need to do is um, adapt your training so that it continuously um, becomes more difficult and the demand and the load on your body progresses upward the whole time. So what does that look like? What am I saying? Typically people think I'm gonna follow the same workout structure and I'm gonna do more weight for more reps over time. And that's one way of progressing it, but it's not, in reality, you are it's gonna be super prone to still ending up in a plateau. So what are other things you can do? Well, if you follow that certain kind of split for six months and you've hit a plateau, your body has adapted, what can you do to continue to see progress? Maybe I need to train four days a week. If I've been training three, now let's do four. If I normally do three sets per exercise, now let's do four sets per exercise. Okay, if I normally am always working in, I always do eight to 12 reps. Okay, let's just mix it up and do some sets 15 to 20 and do some sets six to eight. I'm always resting a minute or I never track my rest. Okay, maybe I need to um, try resting. Who's calling me? Get out of here. Maybe I need to try resting two minutes in between sets and then some other sets I'm gonna rest 30 seconds. And overall though, you're adding more in, you're doing more sets, you're doing more workouts, um, concretely changing 
the structure of your program is the best bet that you're going to continue to see results. And so over time, you continuously add more load in. The next six months go by. Now you need to up it to work out five times a week and you need to do five sets per exercise. And within that, adjusting the rep ranges again, tweaking things, adjusting the rest times. So I found a lot of times if you're stuck in a plateau and then you do something different, you'll see that that different thing led to some results and you go, oh, it's this different thing. It's I was doing eight to 10 reps. Now I switched to 15 to 20 reps. It's higher reps lead to building more muscle. Not necessarily. Maybe it's just the contrast between going from eight to 10, to 15 to 20, which is what I've found to more often be the case. Um, so you need to have some form of variability within your training where there's your changing the rep range, changing the rest times, changing the exercise order, just mixing things around. And then also having that mixing of all the different parameters around be slightly more over time. Okay. So hope that makes sense. So you're, you basically, you need to just do it. I think it boils down to a really simple thing of like, the more you do, the more progress you're going to make. Okay. So if you go to the gym more often, you're probably going to build more, more muscle. If you do more reps, you're probably going to build more, like not higher rep range, but over time you're doing more reps with more weight. You're probably going to build more muscle. I think that's the simplest way to think about it. Instead of this is my structure and I'm going to hammer with this structure. I go to the gym, I break down the muscle fibers, they, and then I rest and they rebuild. And then I'm just going to do that in perpetuity forever and see the progress that I want. It doesn't really work that way. I've seen it myself. I've seen other people do it. It works to a point, but then you marry yourself to that perspective and you're stunting your ability to continue to grow physically because mentally you're not wanting to continue to grow. And I'm going to talk about that really quickly and we'll wrap this up. And I think a lot of that, the root of this is because of that human nature. It's way more uncomfortable to commit yourself to something ruthlessly and um, acknowledge or uh, go about it in a way where you're like, I don't really know what the best way to do it is. I'm fully committed to this. I don't know what the best way to do it is. And I'm going to continuously adjust the way I do it. Um, because I think that's my best bet of, of seeing the most progress over time. It's not very comfortable. It's not like what's, what's a lot more common is like doing five by five, five sets for, uh, five reps, um, and training, you know, uh, you got to rest two days in between every workout and whatever these ideas you have in your head that you believe to be the truth of the way to do it. It's way more comfortable to do that. And you have some results to kind of back it up. You're like, I know how to train. I'm like a fitness person. I have muscle. Boo. Uh, it's, it's, it's like just so common to fall into that way of thinking. And ultimately it's going to limit your ability to continue to see progress. You need to commit yourself to it ruthlessly, but be divorced from marrying any one strategy. Um, because I think your best bet over time is to continue to adapt and adjust and be willing to try different routines, different structures. Um, the best example I could give you is most recently I've been training arms every day. That sounds absurd. Why would anyone do that? There's no way you're going to see progress. You can't recover if you train every single day. These are all things that people will say. Um, how do you know if you haven't tried it? How do you know what the results are going to be? And also if you follow my trajectory, it'll make more sense. So I've been training arms for years and years and initially I didn't just start out doing that. Okay. Normally I start out something more reasonable. I train and I do, you know, maybe f five sets for biceps, five sets for triceps, something reasonable. And then I'll take three days off and wait till I'm not sore, wait till I'm fully recovered and then hit it again. Um, and over time, I just found that no matter what I did within the workouts, go maxing out the intensity, doing drop sets, doing supersets, doing partial reps, like all these little things would make a little bit of a difference. But the main thing that led to progress was changing the full structure and going, okay, maybe I only need to rest twice. Maybe I only need to rest two days in between each workout. Let me try that. Wow. I did that for a month. I definitely saw good progress. Interesting. Maybe five sets per muscle is not enough. Maybe I should do more. Okay. Let me bump it up to seven sets. Okay. Wow. That seemed to add more muscle size as well. Okay. Well, maybe I could train every other day. Let me try that. Okay. Wow. That seems to improve as well. Maybe seven, maybe I need to go up to 10 sets. Okay. Maybe I need to do one workout really intense. And then the next day come in and do a really light workout and then take a day off. Oh, that seems to add more, more muscle as well. And all the time varying the, the rep range, changing the rest times. Um, but continuously progressing, doing concrete things, removing a rest day, adding a workout, uh, uh, extra workout in, adding extra sets on concrete changes to the structure of your program, changing the split, pairing this muscle with that muscle instead, you know, things like that, um, are, are, I think much more predictive of you continuously continuing to see muscle growth or being able to make muscle growth. Okay. So I made this program recently called the gain train. And that's what this is all targeted around. I think there's a, like zillion and one fucking people selling workout programs online, online personal training, this, that, the other thing. 
a lot of good resources, a lot of people giving free information out. Um, <clears throat> and I think one thing that's missing is, or is it, it's not missing, people are still doing it, still talking about it, but it's not really being hammered home that often or emphasized. The, you need to progress your training. What I'm talking about here in the, the gain train is a condensed example of that's 12 weeks where the training progresses the whole time and it goes from being moderate to very intense at the end and it shows you it gives you at the very least an idea of how you should think about your training to um, set yourself up in the best possible case where you're going to eke out as many gains as you can over time you're adding more and you're and you're uh, messing with all the variables. and if all that sounds very confusing you're going what the fuck i don't know how to set any of that up all these things you're saying don't talk to kind of get what you're saying but it doesn't totally make sense you could sign up for the gain train and it will show you exactly all the workouts you walk through it shows you different videos of each workout it's an app it's like interactive you sign up and it walks you through the workouts it has it gives you a schedule tells you what days you need to work out this that the other thing and it's set up for 12 weeks and at the very end you will make progress and some progress but if nothing else you will see what i'm talking about and you'll go oh, okay and you'll be able to make that perspective shift of going this is my program this is what i'm going to do where you're kind of getting stuck in plateaus because you're not progressing things and then you'll see okay wow the program every week something changes and every month like there's an extra day of working out and there's extra sets being thrown in and things are being mixed around there's different exercise different rest times different ways of structuring it um, i'm a total nerd thinking about that stuff and finding ways to manipulate the workout structure to try to find gains i've been doing it for a long time and this is what i've seen personally to be like a really concrete thing is that uh yeah you need to find a way to progress your training if you want to continuously see results, keep doing the same thing. Your body's not going to adapt. You have to got You got to give it a, you got, a good way to think about it. You got to give your body a really good reason to put on more muscle. Okay, a weak reason of like I'm training a bit harder and I'm like pushing each set harder. It's not going to do it. It needs to be something concrete. Extra day of working out, extra sets, extra reps, whatever. You get the point. I hope that that helps you to be able to make more gains and get more out of the efforts that you're putting into the gym. Peace.